okay so we are in week two so today we will start week two excel so download these two files week two da using excel week two So, have you done with the files? Mm, yes. Okay, so we'll start with choose. But before that, uh, let's say if if we have a date field, okay? Mm -hmm. And in date, we need to calculate quarter. Suppose, for example, December will be our fourth quarter, right? So, mm -hmm. Jan, Jan is our first quarter. So, to, to get quarter, uh, what we do first, we take the month okay. this is 12 right and then we divide it by three then this will give me the quarter okay so so now if you see here the Jan will give us zero because it is dividing by three so mm -hmm. we need to we need to round up Okay. And now I'm going to round because uh, it was some like zero point something. I think that's why it was uh, showing zero. Mm -hmm. So we need to round that up. Okay. So to round up, we have one thing here round up. So we first we calculate month and then divide by three to get quarter and then we round up. So this is one way of uh, of getting quarter from a date. Another way is through VLOOKUP. Okay. So for example, here in the VLOOKUP, we have this uh, lookup information where the first, second, third month says first quarter, fourth, fifth, sixth says second quarter and so on. So by using VLOOKUP, we can simply use, uh, sorry, XLOOKUP, XLOOKUP bracket, month of uh, date, comma, and lookup array will be this, and we will return, return this, this quarter. If not found, then not found. Okay. And then we close the bracket. So we get the result, okay? So this is, uh, one way of getting quarter in which we have a lookup information like uh, which month belongs to which quarter we have this lookup information another way is through choose function so if we use choose function then month of if we give, if we give this so so let's say uh, my first, second, and third month is my first quarter. Okay. So I need to give one, one, one. This will. This means like once I take month of A two, month of A two means like uh, I have month from Jan to December. So I have number from one, which is Jan, December, which is twelve. Right. Mm -hmm. So from Jan, Feb, and March, we give first quarter, which is one, 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 mm -hmm. and then. April, May, June this is our second quarter. June, July, August, September is our third quarter. October, November, December is our fourth quarter, right? So if we give this information, then this will also give us the same result. Okay. So one one of the uh, one of uh, the benefit of using choose is let's say if my fiscal year not begins from June. January, February, March, April, May, June. Suppose my fiscal year be begins from July. 
So here I can simply give this as one, 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 one. Then this has two, two, and two. Okay, and and this as three, three, and three. And this has four, four, four. In this way, I can change the order based on the fiscal year, which fiscal year I am taking as my first quarter, I can make these changes. So that is one of the benefit of using choose function. Three, four, four, four. Okay. So, so basic uh, concept here is, so whenever we pass something, then this, whatever we have passed here should be a number, should always be a number, so it should always return a number. The number should always start from one, okay? So, so let's say for example, so, so let's say for example, so I have my gender, gender information and uh, gender is one and two, where suppose one means uh, male and two means female. Okay, let's say, so we can simply use, even choose here, choose and and here one. This is one, then that means my male, if uh, it's two, then female. So this will give you male and this will give you female. So the formula here is, this one should be your number Okay, mm -hmm. and, and this one should replace first number. Mm -hmm. And this one should replace second number and so on, third number and fourth number, okay? So if my gender start from zero and one, so this will not work, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. It will always start from one, yeah. okay? So here, so if you give, let's say, if you give here two and three, so right now two is female, and three is we haven't updated formula for three. So let's say three is unknown. Okay. Then if we drop uh, drop this down, here we have written formula. Okay. So three will be unknown. Okay. So this is the syntax. So so whenever we use whenever we use Whenever we use, what's this So whenever we choose function, it's very, let's take uh, So first one would, would be the value that we pass and whatever the value should we pass, should we start from one number and one, two, three, four, and so on. And the first one will replace one. Suppose if one, we want to change one to male, then the first one should replace one, second one should replace female, okay? And so on, or any other number that we give, okay? So this is the main syntax of, of choose function. Okay, so this is useful when we have certain number, okay, so like uh, from one to 10 or one to five, and we don't want to look, use any lookup information, then if you want, we want to simply replace that information with some value. Like for example, if you only have one and two or three, and we want to replace with some value, in that case, we use choose function, okay? So try this by yourself. Can you can you so X look up function once again?
So we did X look up last time. Mm, yes. So basically, month month a two value gives uh something numerical value, right? Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so the uh, so so the month gives us uh the numerical value so here if you give month of this one and this will give you some value right mm -hmm. and based on that based on that we assign choose function right mm -hmm. so from one to two okay makes sense right Yep. Okay. So, so likewise, we have choose we have switch function even. So switch function is similar to uh, the one we use in programming language. So suppose switch. So this is the rating. So I want to change this from suppose if I have fear, I want to change this to seventy one because my number is 71, okay? So it's similar to like, uh, what, so one value, you want to change this to some number. Likewise, another value is similar to what we do in programming. Mm -hmm. So satisfactory, I want to change this uh, to 78. 78, okay? Or else by default, I want to make like a 50, okay? So this will, will work here but it will not work in poor because poor is by default we have added 50, 50. right mm -hmm. so if we if we use poor and give 65 so it will work we give 65 and so on so the use case of why we need, we use which is again uh, the replacement it is the replacement of v lookup so if we don't want to use x lookup Okay, we have small set of uh, information like four or five values, right? So mm -hmm. instead of making a lookup information and then using X lookup, we can simply use switch and can can uh, change the mapping. It's like simply changing the mapping from fear to 71, converting one value to another. So this last one is by default. Okay, all good. No, it's. I think it's different here. Mm. Mm. So you need to give here this code. So have you given this code? No, no, no. Uh, can I can I share my screen? Okay, sure, sure.
I can't put any value. Uh, uh, remove, uh, remove that ones. Click on cross sign. So what's happening here? Okay, now, uh, now start from again. Why it is showing cross again? It always shows the same. Oh, yes, yes. It's when, when I when I click equal to. Okay. And then it shows that it's a formula time, but then like when I when I do choose, I can do like this. But then when I try to do switch, I can maybe maybe this version of uh, your Excel doesn't support mm, switch. Maybe. Switch table one. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll find a solution. Okay. But I understand that. That's it. Uh, so similar way, if you want to see the difference between choose and switch. So here we gave all values mm -hmm. from one to four. And in switch, if you see, you uh, you changed your one to one, again two to again one, three to again three as again one, four as two, five as two, six as two, seven as three. So it's like a, if you, if the value is one, two or three, then then replace it with one, four, five and six, then replace it with two, seven, eight and nine, then replace it with three, as four. So yeah, so that's that way we can see the difference. Okay. So now open this one, this file. Mm -hmm. So here we have a unique function. Suppose here we have information of an employee, his department, his hire date, his year, benefit and salary. Now we, if we want to look for distinct, how many distinct unique department we have. If you want to see here, so he, here we have complete list of department. So if you want to see the unique department, then we have a unique function. Okay. We give this. We close this, and this will give, give us all the unique values. Right? So these uh, department we have. So the total number of department is, and if you see, we have twenty five departments in our uh, in our data set. In our data, we have twenty five departments. So this will give us the unique department. Okay. And if we only want to see only those department that exist only once, okay? So here we can see, for example, this uh, project and contract services and admin training, logistic appears two time, mm -hmm. project and contract even appears here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I want to see only those department that appears only once. Okay, for that, what we can do, we can do here. So select unique rows, and then here we have option like items, return items that appears exactly once. Okay, so if we choose this, we are true, this will give us the item that exists only once. Okay, so here you can see sales and public relations exist only once. Okay, so if so in here, if in here, if you search for sales, 
So here you can see it exists only once. Okay. Likewise, if you search for for public relation, it will exist only one, only once. Okay. Okay. Try try to do this. So what's the use of doing this is why I'm telling you all this thing is because uh, when you have a huge amount of data and there if you want to see some unique values. So out of a thousand record or hundred thousand records. Mm -hmm. So what's the unique value you have if you want to see for some particular unique values. In there you need to use these functions. So whatever I'm teaching you will apply all this thing while doing the data analysis. It's the same problem. Uh, unique is not there. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. There isn't any way to run MS Excel in Mac. There should be. There should be, right? Yeah, there should be. Because once I have also used Excel, I have been using Mac for maybe like one year and a half. I, at that time, we had, I think, uh, Microsoft or some similar, we had uh, Excel there. I'm not sure why it's not now. So likewise, if this is, if the information is in table, so this information right now is in table, yeah. So to, we can convert this information to table. So how can we do that is from here. We can, if we click table here, insert table. So here we can, we can convert this information to table. So why do we convert this information to table is once we convert this information to table, we can do all sort of sorting, filtering. Suppose I want to see only particular department right mm. so all all sort of work uh, we can easily perform once we convert our data set into tables right so likewise if if the information is in the table we can even use same uh, logic so we will see this department and we will close this bracket and this will give us the unique department and again, if we do unique rows, comma, unique rows, and then we choose return item that appears exactly once, as it says, sure, then this will give you three records. So you can see here the admin training. Here is some typo, I think, here. Admin training there is going to be in space. So if we do this, now we only have two. So this two is the department that exists only once. Okay. So this is the way we can use unique function. Or another way is we can simply copy this information and you can simply just copy and paste here. And then from here in data, oh, we had uh, we had a remove duplicate option here. So in conditional formatting, from here we can duplicate. This will highlight highlight duplicate values. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, but we can even remove duplicate values 
we had some option let me check inside data here we have option here Bisal, can you say this option mm, yes so once 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 we click it in this selection department okay so you can see here we can even mm -hmm. do through geo you, you can try this one this one should be there in your in your machine data. it's inside data and uh, here you can see this option remove duplicate Do you have this option? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid no. Table insert graph tick sheet media. Don't have? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> So likewise, we can use even filter command. We have filter function here. So filter, first we need to select the array, how, how much value we want to show. So this is my array and then comma. Now what you want to filter? Suppose I, I want to filter the year, which is greater than 15 let's say okay then close then this will return mm, will it return all the years of employee the employee that have that have years greater than 15 so so this is the formula like we need to select whole array what we want to display and then we want to keep this condition like uh, so we want to filter all the the employees that have year greater than 15 okay yeah. so this will give you this information so so do you have this option filter yeah. i don't think because if if unique is not there i don't think filter fills it. so no it's not there but, uh, mm, this is the same one okay Feel and less than 15 filter here We even have a formula text to display all the formula. So formula text bracket. If we give here, and this will show you all the formulas. So what formula you have applied, you can view that using formula text. Mm. Oh. 
No, Lima. I was trying to do this in LibreOffice, but then LibreOffice also turns up on this filter. So that's fine. So mm -hmm. for if we have another option, what we can do is instead of using command, you should have this option here, here filter. This filter option you can have. And here you can filter. Our filter greater than or equals to. 15 you can even do that way so see if you can uh, if you can use use this filter even like here we have filter option hmm. it's working it's there i have only one option auto auto filter option oh so you don't have this this option no, this is only auto filter. Okay. It's really irritating now. So, like you, you use a genuine uh, Microsoft. Software. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's actually expensive. <laughs> I saw this one one fifty nine dollar. Excel. Maybe maybe I can found. I can find some key on. Torrent, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Let me let me try. Uh, I'll. So it. Okay. So if it doesn't work, I can. You can. Uh, you can add your query in chat, and let's say we know what we know that tells us because he will. If you if you need something that doesn't work mm -hmm. while you're doing your project, then he should provide that information to you. So if if you need any key or any license, then uh, Binod can Binod I can help you out with that. Oh, okay. I'll write you a message. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah, but that's strange that you even don't have this option here. Yeah. Exactly. Like it has only auto filter option. In in LibreOffice, in numbers, numbers is like not good. This Mac Mac has numbers instead of Excel, but then it's not good. You don't have any kind of those functions. So uh, anyway, I am recording this session, so you can view the recording later. Mm, yes. Try on this one. Okay. Yes, I so, can. <clears throat> so let me hide this once again. So now if if you want to add two filter, so to add two filter, we can even use filter again add a whole value. And then to add two filter, we need to keep this in bracket. Like uh, so I want to filter in the year which is greater than 15. So this should go in one bracket and then asterisk. And then again, start another bracket. And this is uh, D, B calling. And this should be, let's say, let's say this is equals to, um, so let, let's say this is equals to logistics. Okay. If we close this, then this will filter out on this is up. All, uh, yeah, all year that is greater than 15 and your department is logistics. 
So why this is not showing here? Uh, so what I have chosen? From E1 to E99. Mm. This is the name and department. What is this third one? Let's, let's check if this version has a year greater than 15 or not. Mess. Yeah, so yeah. So yeah, it's working, but So mass mass has here then equal to 21. So it's greater than equals to 15. So that's working. But here the information is not correct. Why this is giving up showing up? <laughs> From A to E. So, but another way we can even do is simply use instead of using formula, simply use the filter and inside filter we can even use can even use custom filter here and we can give equals so here equals uh not equals here and 15 and so this is applied to one forty forty. Mm -hmm. So we need to we need to use this approach only. This approach. Uh, let me try once again. Okay, let's, let's delete everything. I think we have some hidden rules here. On hide. Okay, let's try once again. Filter. Let's add it. So let's first remove this filter. Yeah. Then it works. Filter bracket adding. So this. Then comma. To include is all the year which is greater than fifteen. Close this bracket. And asterisk. And again, department equals to. Say logistics is close. Let's close this. Yeah, now it's fine. <laughs> I don't know because I think some file was hidden. That's why it's not. It was not showing up. Okay, so you can see here. So we can we can add multiple filters. So your formula is. So we can even view the formula by using formula text. Formula text. Yeah, so this is some formula. Okay, so this is how we can apply multiple and filters. So likewise, if we need to sort some sort, we need to do some sorting, then simply sort. So sort, we need to sort all this information and say. And if you don't give anything. And simply do sorting, then this will sort on the basis of alphabetical wise first. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we do give here sort on the basis of uh, three, four, let's say year, then we can give here like four. Four means one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. year. 
near so in certain places of here mm. so this should work on your uh machine check what sort should work because this is very basic command Oh, it's 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 giving me the same structure like sort and like table something so it's not working no So we can even do sort simply by by using here we have uh, here we can simply do sorting from A to Z or from Z to A or we can even do a custom sort and we can uh, do sorting first based on salary then we can add another label here let's say we want to sort on the basis of department from A to Z. And in this way, we can apply multiple level of filter. So here, yeah, let's say this here, here. again, we need to, let's apply custom sort. So my salary will be from largest to smallest and department will be from A to Z. So, okay. uh, so this is from largest to smallest and this is from A to Z. Yeah, it's it's working. So yeah, so we can do that way even or through function we can even use equals sort by. We even have sort by. So first we will choose array, and then so then in second uh, we need to choose like which field we are sorting first. And then whether it's ascending or descending, we said descending. So, and then after doing or descending sorting, I want to see all the departments. Okay. So we can even add department here. And let's say I want to sort on department on basis of ascending order. So you can see here what I did is firstly I sorted on basis of okay. Okay. let's say let's take one more. Yeah. So first I sorted on basis of year. Yeah. Right? So here you can see the year is highest because I did minus one. Minus one is descending order. Descending. Okay. So it's highest. And within within this year, I, I am I am doing the sorting on basis of department, right? So you can see M P Q. So this is this is this example looks good. First sorting is this is of the year, then on department. So a is the alphabet that starts from first, then A, then E, and so on. So yeah, so this we can even use, uh, so minus one means descending, one, one means ascending, okay? Yeah. So we can use this formula, or we can simply use uh, the here, so, yeah, the custom sort option. Here we can use custom sort for option and can do the sorting okay so so custom sort should be there in your in your machine custom sort is there or not mm, no i couldn't find anything related to sort sort mm. nice format arrange okay format okay see if you uh, get license okay. if if not, then uh, send one message in the group and I will confirm with Binudai. Oh, okay, I'll send it in, in, in the group or like private message? Uh, you can send in group. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So, so these are very important because we usually do sorting, filtering and looking for unique values 
while doing data, data analysis, right? So these are very basic and uh, you need to have good practice on this, on using this function. Sure. Okay. So the last one is uh, indirect function. Okay. So in indirect function, what we have, so here we have uh, the information based on its state, like for example, the California has total amount this much, Texas has total amount this much, and we have one master seat here, right? And here, if you want to pull the information of California total amount, okay? So California total amount, likewise, I want to pull the information of the Florida total amount, which is this. Uh, this one, I will be right back. Okay, give me like one minute, okay? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Hello. Okay. So, so suppose we have an individual seat here. So let's say California has total amount, Florida has some total amount, and New York has some total amount. And we need to add all the information in one master seat. So let's say, so this one is the, so what I did is simply, uh, equals this seat and I did enter. So this gives me the California one. But if I drag it down, this will not give, give me the same result. It will give me the result of, so this one was the California G6. So it will give me California G7, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So to get this information of all the seats, what we need to do is, uh, so we need to first copy this formula. So, so we need to write this formula. So let's say this, the first one is California. So equals California and then and, and, and means addition, concatenation mm -hmm. and exclamation G6. So this is the concatenation part. Okay, so once we do concatenation, now this will give us the similar result that we have used when we created this formula, right? Mm -hmm. So here, here we need to now we need to use indirect. Oh, okay. okay. So if we do that, then and if we drag and drop this information, this will show us the total of uh, this twenty six seven hundred. Yeah, the Texas 25800, right? So Texas 25800. Okay, so Florida 26700. 
we will have 26 700 so it's matching that so it will it will match but the thing here is we have several dependency here the california one is the same seat name should match okay so this california spelling should match like for example florida here the spelling should match so let's say if you have florida here in case let's let's say we did some mistake and florida we simply do da so this will be wrong the seat name should match exactly florida okay so that's the dependency the seat name should exactly match so if we have such information like uh, we have only four seats let's say if you, if you have 10 20 states information and you have all the information here and uh, in that way we can pull this information but one more thing to note is this this uh, cell should also match for example this cell is in g6 right so florida should also be in g6 your new york should also be in g6 and texas should also be in g6 so that should match okay so let's try to use this function in direct In nine and nine six, for example, G six. No, I'm not working. Is it work? Oh. Yes. Okay. In a in a and one category. G six. So uh, do we have this indirect function? Mm, yes. Then it should work. If we have that function then then it should work. So what we, so suppose let's say if we have some text here, suppose I have Ajit and Chaudhary. So if I want to concat these two text, we can simply use and, okay. And, and this. So this will concat both, both the string, mm -hmm. okay. So if we use space and do another concatenation, so here you can see, you can get the space, okay. So, we can use and or we can we even have concat function concatenate function mm -hmm. should concat this comma this so concatenation if we need space there we can add space okay so these things are yeah the common so yeah these things are the common So, uh, so when this thing is helpful is when we create a table, say, let's say, for example, if you want to 
create a table then you have several several rows okay so let's say you have this rows here so first one is your name second one is your gender third one is your status okay or fourth one is your higher date okay so so if in such case if you if you need to create a table so to create a table we need to declare the variable right so let's say this is where 200 this is where 200 so in this way we can simply use equals back at 200 and then we will, can simply add comma here comma here so in this way you can simply drag and drop comma and can simply use this as so we will skip this so let's say so bad cat 200 if you want to open and then you want to open comma okay let's remove this so or we can do any sort of addition concatenation so that uh we can simply copy this in excel and simply create a table or we want to do some uh trim or apply some function do some cutting concatenation so we can play here in excel and simply copy that and paste in sql as our formula and we can do all sort of manipulation there okay so is it indirect indirect working for you mm, no it's showing some kind of ear uh, i'm trying to do concatenate concatenate this one, this one. Yep, concatenates working indirect. The formula contain an invalid reference. Mm -hmm. What's in invalid reference? Mm -hmm. Do you want to share the screen? Mm, yes. Okay. Indirect A9 concat G6. So uh, don't use indirect, simply do concat G6. What does that give us? Remove indirect. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, comma exclamation G6. G6. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now use indirect on the on, on the front. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Equals indirect. Right. Yeah. And now you, we are using this one. Yeah. Closed. Oh, okay. We don't need to use anything because we have already contaminated. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So try to use in that shape. Uh, remove this one here. And try to use in that that shape. Uh, the one you have to use here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't see uh, your seats. Where are your seats? Yes, there, right on top, right? So, what does it say? So, 
That means it's not recognizing this this one. So it's G6, right? Check once that cell. That yeah, cell is G6. Okay, so I'm requesting remote access. Uh, I can access your signal. Now I can run, I can access your seat. Okay, now go back to the Excel one. Where you were writing. Okay, I can access your seat. Now you are controlling this screen it says can access. Hmm. You can are you able to access? No. Maybe it's your Mac. That's why I'm not sure. Cannot not do anything. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not able to access your screen. Okay, uh, okay, so try to follow the same steps which I did mm -hmm. once again. So first, f firstly equals, first, firstly try to do this like uh, equals uh, the California and then enter. Does it keep you to seven seven? Seven. This information does it give you this information first? Mm. Two seven 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 seven. I'll try. Mm. Equals. Mm. So what I did is. Oh, uh, yes, equals, yes. Yeah, equals, then went to California mm. and click here and then enter. Oops. So, can you do this? Yes, yes. Okay, so then uh, equals, copy this and then and, and then exclamation and G6. So, can you do this? And mm, yes. And now here, if you write in direct and close the bracket, this would give you the answer. Same. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, uh, yeah let's let's leave this behind. I will mm -hmm. try to probably after yeah. I process it or I will. Yeah. It now. <laughs> okay, and also if you don't purchase yourself, you can uh, confirm with the B node. Without that, yes, yes. I'll, I'll try. Try to message. He will guide you. Okay, so. Now, well, let's just start with SQL. Okay. So, do you want to break or shall we continue? Mm, 